Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am sharing a classic and showing you how to make my go-to tuna salad recipe. Simple meals like tuna salad are great to keep in your back pocket when you're trying to eat better, simply because it's an easy, healthy recipe that comes together in just minutes using your pantry essentials. Plus, it's super versatile. You can really make it work with whatever you have on hand, and I love that it's a great way to get a veggie and protein-packed meal on the table in no time. So to start off, you're gonna need two five ounce cans of tuna packed in water. Now I recommend using skipjack tuna or canned light tuna because both of these options are gonna be lower in mercury than other canned tunas. I just like to drain off the extra water and then I break the tuna up into a nice big bowl. Next, I'll add in a quarter cup of mayonnaise and a quarter cup of plain Greek yogurt. Now, I love using this combination, but keep in mind that you could do all mayo or all Greek yogurt depending on your preference. The yogurt is lower in fat and adds some more protein, while the mayo is higher in fat and is dairy free. Now remember, fat is not bad for you. Our bodies need great sources of high quality fats to be functioning at their best. So when it comes to mayo, what I would recommend is trying to use a brand that uses avocado oil at the base instead of vegetable or seed oils. And I will make sure to link to a couple of my favorites down in the description box below. Next up, I'm adding a third cup of diced celery, which is equivalent to one large stalk of celery, and then three tablespoons of finely diced red onion. Now remember, the easiest way to cut an onion is to trim off the stem side, then lay it flat side down and slice it in half. Remove the papery outer skin, then lay it flat side down and create a checkerboard by making horizontal slices and then vertical slices. Then I just come right up over the top and slice straight down. And you can easily adjust the size of your dice by how big or how small you make your checkerboard. Then what I like to do is just dice up these little cornichon pickles. This is optional, but they have a really super bright, super tangy flavor. So if you like that type of flavor profile, I highly recommend it. And if you don't have them on hand, you could also dice up a dill pickle or even some capers. And then last but not least, I love to just take a big handful of baby spinach cut it up nice and small, make it nice and fine, and then add that into the tuna as well. This is gonna add great flavor, great texture, plus it's such an easy way to work more greens into the day. I'll season this with some uh, sea salt and a little bit of black pepper, and then I'm just going to gently mix this all together. And you know, just a side note, this salad is super versatile. Sometimes we'll add broccoli, cauliflower, radishes, really whatever crunchy veggies we have on hand. So as always, make it work for you and use what you have. Now tuna salad is great for meal prep. You can make it ahead of time. It comes together quickly and it will happily last in your fridge for up to three days when stored in an airtight container. Then you can enjoy it as a classic tuna salad. Just layer it on your favorite type of bread or you can do my personal favorite and slice up some cucumber rounds and just put a little tuna on each bite. This is super refreshing, it's light, it's crunchy, and it is so delicious. I just love how the crunchy vegetables pair with the creamy tuna salad, and then you get that little tangy pop from the pickles as well. So good. I hope you get to give this one a try and that you are reminded that simple, delicious, nutritious food does not have to be hard or time consuming. And if you know anybody else who's looking to make healthy eating easy, please share this with them. And if you haven't already, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new recipe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. My go-to salad recipe how to make a classic hmm.